The name of our company is Emerald Coast Yachts, and uh, we got started uh, six years ago. We decided uh, that we wanted to do something different. We were both uh, working for telecommunications companies in Northern Virginia, and uh, this was definitely something different. We bought half the company, uh, moved down here, and uh, we've been teaching sailing and chartering boats uh, uh, for six years now. We train on all of them, and it kind of it, it depends on the class. Uh, for example, the 114 is the cruising catamaran class, and we teach that on a Fountain Peugeot Levisi 40, which is a 40-foot catamaran. Uh, we teach our basic sailing on a Hunter 280, which is a 28-foot Hunter. And then we use this boat and Lorraine, our 38-foot Beneteau, and Sea Fever, our 33-foot Beneteau, to teach uh, basic coastal cruising and the bare boat charter certification course. And sometimes we'll use them in the 106, which is the advanced coastal cruising class. Now we think that people who are going to sail together should take classes together. And for that reason, having a boat that accommodates a few more people with the instructor off to the side allows everybody to have a hands-on experience without interference from the instructor. And so he gives directions from, from outside on the side while everybody has hands on the wheel and hands on the lines in order to sail. And the, the, one of the first things that we teach students is the points of sail. In fact, we'll actually go out of the marina and come out here in the sound or the bay and, and sail in circles, hitting all the points of sail and tacking and jibing and uh, making sure that the students understand the fundamentals of sailing. But from that point, uh, you have to take it to the next step, which is understanding how you get the boat to go from point A to point B. And, and to do that, you have to apply the points of sail and, and potentially have to tack and jive. And that, uh, that's, that's a pretty big step for some students, but it, it's essential that you learn that because you don't go out and say, hey, I think I'll sail a Beam Reach today. And you say, hey, I think I'll sail to Fort McRae or Destin. And it's the points of sail and tacking and jibing that allow you to do that. teach couples. We teach a lot of couples, but we also teach a fair number of families. And that, that's a good experience, I think, for the families to live on board the boat while they're here and learn to sail as a family because um, hopefully as, as they progress in their sailing education and start to go on bare boat charters, then the whole family knows how to sail. And that's uh, that's really a, a benefit and that's one of the things we enjoy is when we teach students and they come back to see us and come back and charter from us and we've made some really good friends um, since we've been doing this. I think the best part about sailing is that once you're on board there's nothing you can do but enjoy each other. Yes there's tasks you do together. Somebody might be checking a, nap char a, a chart, somebody else might be pulling lines, somebody standing at the helm. but. There's uh, typically no phone calls, there's um, no laundry to be done, no dishes. Once you're on board, everything is here. Everything you need from a bathroom to a kitchen to a place to sleep. And your self-contained family unit, everything you need is on board. And you're, and you're out in the most beautiful um, vistas, beautiful country that you can see. And you never know what you're going to find. You never know which bird or dolphin or, um, or cloud scheme or light shining through the clouds that you're going to see. And I, I think it slows your family down some because you're enjoying each other's company while, while actually achieving something like getting somewhere by harnessing the wind as opposed to just turning a key, stepping on the gas and plugging in something, plugging a DVD into a, you know, into a player and watching a movie on your way to some pre-made place. This is sailing takes you on an adventure that you can handle as a family. It's a, it's a great thing to do. 
for a marriage, it's working together, right? You know, everybody should have a job and jumps in and does things. It's nice to see what you can count on from your mate.